just waiting to see if somebody shows up and then I'll start. I will start the broadcast when people start showing up. So now I'm just gonna have a little tea. Sit here, wait a little bit, have a little tea, and then we'll do some things. I don't know what. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alex, hey, Alex showed up. Nice. What's up, Alex? What is doing? <clears throat> okay. Got a couple of people showing up. Bonjour. Oui, oui. Chanson pour les petits enfants. Chanson pour tout le monde. It's the only French I know. <laughs> Frank, what's up? Deuce, what's up? <clears throat> oh, I should start showing some of these. In a minute, I'm going to show you guys my genius and talk about how, first of all, is this mic working? Guys, give me a mic check. Is this mic working? Does How is the sound? Because if I get it through the webcam, it sounds like crap. If I use this, it sounds good. This is plugged in, but I'm not sure if it's working. So, okay. <laughs> Bifocals. There are actually two pairs of glasses, two different pairs of glasses. I have to make my own bifocals. <laughs> I have a pair around here somewhere. But, you know, this is what happens. You get old and you do crazy crap like this. Um, Mike, good. Mike, good. Okay. Thanks, man. Mike is working. Sounds good. Sounds great. Cool, cool. Okay, guys, we got some people showing up. Thanks. First of all, thanks for showing up. Maximum respect to you guys. I'm trying, I'm gonna try and get into something interesting. I want to go back in time when I first started thinking about different ways to make money online. And I want to revisit this because I think it can give you guys a good concept of how to make money on demand. Now, I'm going to go back to my days when I was making money on eBay. Let me have a sip here. Okay, because I did a lot of things on eBay that made me good money. And back in the day, I was selling Halloween goods on eBay. And Halloween is a seasonal business. So I tried to come up with a way to turn that into year round, right? So I needed to kind of take some items and I thought about, well, what's Halloween that I could sell year round? And I could find little items here or there from my Halloween supplier that I could sell all year round. For example, one of the things that I can remember was a Woof Woof doll. It was a werewolf doll from the show The Monsters. Eddie Munster, I don't know if you guys are even old enough to know about the Munsters, but when I grew up, it was a, it was a good show. I, I cracked up with that. Grandpa cracked me up. But um, the, there was a little kid in the show named Eddie Munster, and he was like, uh, I don't know what he was, but he had pointed ears. They were all monsters. It was kind of a rival show to the Adams family. But the kid in the show had a Woof Woof doll, and uh, that item sold year round. But anyway, I was racking my brain, trying to come up with different things that I could sell year round on eBay and make good money with. And then I remembered going way back in time, they used to have sideshow attractions at the carnival and they call them sideshow gaffes, things like that. So basically what, people would do in the carnivals back in the old days is they would create fake things and pass them off as real things and charge people to come and see them. So I, I thought, oh, okay, what could I do? What could I do? That sounds interesting. And I just got into a creative bent, right? And I came up and I created out of my own creative thinking, I came up with an entire line 
of these sideshow type attractions. And I sold them on eBay and I sold them as businesses. I sold it in the business section. In a minute, it'll all make sense. I sold them as just cool things to have where you could put them in your house to fool your friends. And uh, I even sold some of these things to museums and they put them in their museums. So in a minute, I'll show you an example. Now, here's what I used to do. Well, here, let me show you. First of all, let me show you an example of one that I made. This is silver mylar. It's just a sheet of silver mylar, right? Cost, I better put it down, it makes too much noise. Cost maybe, I don't know, a buck for a big sheet like that, right? So here's what I did. I bought a bunch of sheets of that stuff and I cut it into little pieces and I sold it as the original Roswell crash debris, the original UFO crash debris from Roswell. And let me show you what I did. I made a newspaper article on the whole thing, right? And that's how I sold it. So if you look at that picture, you see it's in a plexiglass display and it's got two museum tags. Well, one's a museum tag and the other is like a collection tag from when the soldier found it in the field. It's a long story. But, and I didn't sell these things as genuine, right? I told everybody, look, this is not real Roswell debris from a UFO crash. This is a display. Again, fool your friends. You can use it as a, a sideshow attraction at, I had guys using it at like antique fairs. They would, you know, put this thing like in a little tent on their table and they would charge people a buck to see it or something like that. But anyway, we'll get, we'll get into that. So anyway, this is what I did and I sold the hell out of these things. So basically I took a little tiny piece of worthless crap I put it in a plexi plexiglass case. The plexiglass case cost me $9, either seven or $9 a piece. And I got them from the container store. And then I made these aged exhibit tags and I put them in there. It looked the shit, it looked killer. My eBay ad looked killer. I sold these things for 50 bucks a pop and up. And I had to go to the post office twice a day with a dolly that high of boxes. I was shipping and shipping. This is one item, right? Again, it's about using your imagination. In a minute, I'll get into the actual newspaper article situation. But basically, I wrote an article <clears throat> about a museum. It was a fake museum. I think I called it the guttering museum. And uh, that actually ended up in Wikipedia somehow. I didn't submit it, somebody did. And I made this whole story up about how this museum of, of paranormal items was having financial problems and they had to sell off some of their exhibits. And they held an auction. And anyway, this is, this is one of the things. Um, here's another one. I will show you just because I want you guys to understand I made it's just you let your imagination go wild right so here was another one I created and this was a alien implant that was found embedded in a man's spine or arm I forget what right and uh, all this was was a little jar right a little salt shaker jar that I got at Pier One or Cost Plus or one of those places cost 99 cents. And I found these little widgets, right? And I took a piece of monofilament, you know, fishing line, and I tied it on and I suspended it in the middle of the jar. And then I filled that jar with caro syrup. So it was thick. And so when the jar moved, that thing would move, but very slowly. Those things sold like crazy. And it was a little jar. Um, let me show you a couple of the other ones. I got stacks of these. Literally, I made millions of these kind of things. 
Here's another anecdote one, the chupacabra paw, right? If you look down, you'll see a picture of the little paw. And um, anyway, those sold like crazy. This is a funny story. So I was on eBay one day and I was just cruising around and I happened to be in the taxidermy section of eBay. And there was a woman selling um, the hands of, of raccoons because she was using raccoons in some taxidermy stuff. I don't know, maybe she was mounting the head. I don't know what she was doing with raccoons. But anyway, the hands were something that she did not need. And she was, you know, she wasn't going out and killing these things to make demand for this. So I could, I felt okay with it. But anyway, she was selling these raccoon hands for like a couple of bucks. And so I made that item. I made this item. And I bought these raccoon hands from her for a couple of bucks. And I would sell them again. I would sell these things, I think, for 50 bucks a piece. Comes with the newspaper article. And, uh, you know, I mean, again, they sold like crazy up to the point where eventually this woman, this taxidermist, saw my eBay listing somewhere and she went, she stopped selling me the hands and she started, she ripped me off. Basically, she ripped me off and she started doing what I did. So it, it just kind of cracked me up. But what I'm getting at here is, guys, if you use your imagination, bring your imagination to a problem, you can make a lot of money. Here's another one, the, um, the haunted mummified head of the Marquis de Sade. Now, this was a prop that I made of a couple of parts, a plastic skull, oh, my nose, hang on, which I used to get from a Halloween supply store. And then uh, another company made like a rubber skin that you put over it. And the whole thing cost me, I think maybe 20 bucks uh, all in. And um, I sold these for like 200 bucks a piece, I think, if I remember, I don't know. And then I did the same thing, the haunted skull of the Marquis de Sade. And uh, these were just, these were actually higher quality fake skulls that I bought from somewhere. I can't remember the price. In a minute, I'll show you guys the magazine, the place where you can, oh, here's another one. This is another funny story. This is a real monkey's paw, the haunted monkey's paw. I don't know if you guys know the story of the monkey's paw. I forget the author. Damn, it's right on the tip of my tongue. It's a, it's a short story about a monkey's paw that grants wishes, um, but the wishes always come out bad. Anyway, I tracked down, and I don't even remember how I did this. I tracked down a park ranger in Africa, and his job was to go out and kill monkeys that were rogue monkeys that were doing harmful things or something. I don't remember. Anyway, he was selling me real monkey hands and I had to get an import license and we had to go through customs and all that stuff. But I, I did it. I don't, I don't know why I went to all the trouble. I could have just sold the raccoon hand and called it a monkey paw, but I wanted to be, have something really special. And being able to say that it was a real monkey's hand got me a lot more money for that item. So anyway, anecdotal stuff. Here's, uh, here's another one. This, this is something you guys can do really easily. This is an alien in a jar. And I did the same thing. I made a newspaper article. What this is, is this is so easy to make. All you need to do is buy some liquid latex and you, you can order it anywhere off of Amazon, whatever. Take a sheet of glass or something that's really smooth and you just paint a thin layer of this liquid latex on the glass and let it dry. It looks milky when you put it on the glass. Let it dry and then after it's dry, you peel it off 
little by little. And as you're peeling it, you kind of twist it and turn it and crunch it up. And, and then you stuck it, stick it in a jar like this. And I used to take a blue marker, very fine point blue marker and draw. So it looked like little veins, right? Because who knows what an alien looks like? They could look like anything, right? So I sold this in two ways. I sold it as a real alien or uh, an entire alien fetus in a jar. Or the other way I sold it was alien tissue uh, collected from the Wa Roswell crash, that kind of thing. I sold it in different ways. But anyway, you just put the liquid latex in the, in the jar like that. Fill it with water, put a couple of drops of yellow food coloring in it, boom goes dynamite. And then you write another article. Now let's get to the articles because that's uh, that's a whole nother thing. So um, let me figure out how to, uh, here we go, show in stream. So this is where I got my fake newspaper articles right here fake newspapers.com again it was many years ago and uh you know it was uh it was a cool thing i don't know if this is something that will still work for you guys if you're interested i'll try and take pictures of the actual articles that i have written so you can get an idea I mean, I don't, I don't care if you rip it off, but if everybody does writes the same exact thing and does the same exact products, it's just going to ruin it because you're going to saturate the market, right? So that's why you need your own imagination. Don't just copy it verbatim what I show you guys. You have to bring your imagination to what's doing. Now, as I come on here, this website has evolved. I mean, first of all, I'm surprised that they're still in business and uh, really interesting. So they've got other things now, fake books. I have no idea what that's about. Um, anyway, I don't know. If I went on here, I could probably create a lot of different things. Um, Fake box levels, I, uh, uh, labels. I don't know what that is. Certificates. Uh, oh, wow. This, see, I could come up with websites on stuff like this. You take a, a let's see. Let me look here. Give me a second. Um, Charles Darwin Award. You might see something like this. Uh, it's too expensive. Let's see. Wait a minute. How many do you get? If that's for one of them, it's way too expensive. But if you get a ton of them, uh, oh, you only get two of them. Okay, this won't work. Um, okay, sorry about my digression. But fake newspapers, how much did they cost? I used to get this small size. That's all I needed. And back in my day, let's see, now he wants $20 for how many of them? Da, 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 da. 10 of them. So there you go. 20 bucks for 10 of them. And uh, I think there were lots cheaper back in my day. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's what's doing, guys. So do you... Am I getting your creative juices flowing yet? I mean, that's what it's about, being creative, bringing your creativity into play. Even when it comes down to affiliate marketing, you know, it, if you do what everybody, every other imbecile does, every other chucklehead does, you're not going to be the guy that stands out. You're not going to be the guy that makes the sales. you got to learn how to be creative. So all of this stuff just came out of my mind because I decided to brainstorm, set aside some time every day and just think about things like this and apply marketing skills to it and see what you can come up with. You know how much money this concept made me? 
a lot. I don't know. I couldn't say for sure, but definitely I would say 30,000 bucks. I don't know. I'm just guessing over the, over the amount of time that I did it. I don't know. So anyway, okay. Now let me, uh, let me get onto some questions here. Uh, cause I've been ignoring your questions. So let me get into that and see, uh, Franco what's doing, man. Um, I was going to send you an invite to that stereo app so we could do a podcast. I don't know if you're into it or not, but if you want, I'll send you the link to that. Anyway, um, let's see. I actually made pretty penny on I offer two, but was under. Okay. I don't know what you're referring to. Um, anyway, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Jared. Mm. Uh, yeah, year, it was years ago. I don't know even how long ago it was, <clears throat> but you know, it's, it's pretty impressive when you can just apply your own mind it, and create something, create a money-making machine just out of nowhere, you know, just by using your intellect, that's power, right? So that's what I want you guys to be. I want you guys to be empowered so that you can do these kind of things. Um, can I buy an imagination on eBay? <laughs> First of all, Cherie, good to see you again. It's been a long time. You know what? Set up an eBay listing. I'm selling my imagination cheap. <laughs> uh, you can't buy one, but you can learn how to be creative. And that's what I suggest you guys do. Go on to Google. Take some creative thinking courses. You know, you guys are all sitting in front of a computer with a search engine. And nobody knows how to do it. Nobody knows how to apply thinking to a search engine to search for certain things. Uh, Got to go, but we'll watch the replay. I hope you're doing well. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, oh, hey, here's one for Cherie. You look like you already have one. Look at you, Cherie. You're getting comments. <laughs> Alex, thinking is the hardest work there is. <laughs> mm. Henry Ford. I didn't know that was a Henry Ford quote. Great quote, though. Yeah. Um, and Albert Sparrow, not Jack Sparrow. Uh, oh my God. That was the other. Oh, well, I'll save that for another, another, uh, broadcast. But yeah, I mean, I, uh, okay. I don't want to go into this digression. You're, you're triggering something in me, but, uh, anyway, tried many times, but failed on eBay. Please guide me. Didn't I just do that? Didn't I just give you an idea? Didn't I just, oh my God. For, okay, what did you try to sell on eBay? What was it you tried to sell on eBay? How did you sell it? That's the other thing that separated me from everybody else on eBay. I used to make killer eBay ads. So again, this was many, many years ago and uh, uh, sorry, a message just popped up from a buddy of mine. I forgot that I was also broadcasting on Facebook. Um, uh, I forgot. <laughs> many, many years ago, I was selling on eBay. And back then, it was impossible for people to put their images in the eBay listings where they wanted them. You had to know HTML. And you got one image for your listing, I think. And I used to go, I learned how to do HTML for eBay and I embedded a bunch of different images. So it looked like a sales page looks today. I was the first guy to use that kind of a thing. And I did it in my eBay ads. And I also used video. I learned how to embed video in my eBay ads. And that really made, got me, that kind of thing made me a triple power seller on eBay. So 
you know, that, the items that you sell, the way you sell them. Because remember, back in those days, I was selling Halloween goods. Anybody could sell Halloween goods. Anybody could buy the same crap I was buying and reselling. So what made me a power seller as opposed to somebody else? Well, it was marketing. It was the way I sold it. First of all, I created a persona for myself. Zombo, I was Zombo, right? And I wore this crazy wig and, you know, uh, it's me, Zombo. I got another great thing for you for Halloween. Woo -hoo -hoo -ha. I modeled this character off of a real cheesy, you know, Sunday afternoon horror show, TV show guy, right? That, and anyway, I did that, but then in all of my listings, I had a bonus. Again, I was innovating this shit before everybody else did it. So if you bought a certain number of items, or if you bought an item more than a certain price, I included a free valuable gift from Zombo's creepy vault, creepy gift vault, right? Worth at least $50, right? Well, what was that? I would go to a liquidation place and I would buy these uh, Halloween liquidation goods for like pennies. I mean, they were just really pennies, but the retail price on it would be like 50 bucks. So slam dunk, marketing, right? Marketing. So anyway, to answer your question, I would have to see what you did and I would have to tutor you, but you've got to, you've, it's up to you. You got to, right? You got to do the things that separate you from the other chuckleheads. Um, Munich, please guide me. Okay. I thought I already answered that. Okay. Hmm. Ah, wie geht's? Was ist los? Was ist nicht angebunden ist los? Um, yeah, I'm fairly creative. I guess you are, Sheree. Okay. Um, <clears throat> eBay Addicts, I remember you. You've been around a long time, man. Maximum respect. Okay. Uh, I guess this is over. That's it. Last comment. I'm good. Now I've screwed around long enough that I can go back to work, I guess. I think I can go back to work now. So anyway, guys, look, here's the thing. Uh, oh, you sent me a message on Instagram. I don't check in. I'm not even on Instagram that much. So you're better off uh, messaging me on Facebook, Facebook mess. And uh, you know what? I'm not even doing that much now. Uh, okay. I'll try and remember to get on Instagram and check the message, but uh, that's what's doing. Um, okay. What's doing? Uh, mobile apps are pretty popular today. In what context do you mean that? I don't understand what you're trying to say. What, you're selling mobile apps on eBay? You're running CPA campaigns for mobile apps? I don't know. could mean a million things. You got to be more specific because uh, I've got a creative imagination, just needs sales skills. That's true. It takes more than just imagination. You need scale, sales skills. And again, I've kind of, I wish. I wish I had saved some of my old eBay ads so I could give it to you guys as templates and show you guys what I did. But basically, look at any sales page. Go Google search what makes a good sales page and you model that for your eBay listings if, if we're talking about eBay still. But learn copywriting and also the things that made my, my listings on eBay stand out were killer images, killer graphics. I had to learn Photoshop. So I made my images look really off the hinges and images really sell your items. Don't use stock images if you're selling a stock thing anyway. Okay. Yeah, those were the days really. I don't know how tough they were, but those were tough days. I don't know. Um, 
in some ways they were in other ways it was an advantage because other people didn't know how to do the html embedding uh, of images and making a sales page on ebay and all of that so it was good because it made me stand out from other people um okay good go go and uh hope i helped you uh, I don't want to stay on here too long. I have a tendency to stay on way too long. Uh, maximum respect, brother. Um, yeah, check out that website. And uh, maybe you'll get some ideas. I mean, I don't know. For me, it was, uh, I don't remember how I came across this chicken egg kind of thing. I think... I made the sideshow gaffs and then I went looking for a printer because I wanted to create these fake newspapers, right? And somehow I actually found this guy's company, fakenewspapers.com. He was another guy that ripped me off too. I think he asked my permission first, but I think he took a couple of my concepts, my articles, and he used them himself. <laughs> what do I care? Uh, anyway, that's what's doing. Okay. Um, maximum respect. Um, thanks for the great ideas. Oh, I already saw that. Okay, Frank. Hey, I know you, Frank. Uh, you still have videos about that. Do I? Or is that a question? I don't know. I mean, I guess they're still on YouTube. I don't know. I don't remember making videos about anyway. Okay. Enough of me. You guys are sick of me. Hey, become self empowered, man. And think about joining my website, thekinghumanelite.com. I got to give myself a commercial here, right? You know, a lot of you guys, you want to, you complain to me that you're still at your job, but yet you won't do the bare minimum to learn things. <coughs> you, have, you have access to a genius here and you don't take advantage. Oh, it's 20 bucks. I don't want to spend 20 bucks. Freaking imbecile. You're not spending, you're investing. And you get voicemail access to me where I answer your questions. You're no other online income guru that makes millions of dollars is going to, you're not going to get, uh, first of all, you're not going to get to hear him barf live on a broadcast, but you're not going to get access to him for 20 bucks live, being able to call in and voicemail him directly. You might, if you're lucky, be able to email him and maybe get an answer from his virtual assistant. Okay. I get angry because I, I just think Okay, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> Just that if you steal from one person, that's plagiarism. You steal from, <laughs> yeah, who is that quote from? You're full of quotes today. Wow. Oh, you mean the Halloween thing and the photos and the ads on eBay? Okay, that's cool, but um, yeah, those were tough days. Yeah. Um, I mean, there are a lot of things that are tough out there. And here's what separates a businessman from a chucklehead. Overcoming obstacles. Those were all obstacles in my way. Now, you have to remember, put all of this in context. You're looking at an old ass truck driver with zero tech skills back then, right? I, I, when I was growing up, and when I was probably the age you are right now, computers didn't exist. The internet didn't exist. And then all this stuff happened. And guess what? They were all obstacles. Wow, I want to do this. I want to be able to embed images. And I want to make a cool sales page for eBay. I don't want just another eBay listing. I want it to be different. I want to be able to put videos in my eBay ads. How do I do that? Well, I learned and I taught myself how to do that. 
It was obstacles. Overcoming obstacles is what is going to make you a success. That's if you take away anything from this video, that's the thing you should take away. There will always be obstacles. Overcoming the obstacles is what's going to separate you from the unsuccessful people out there. Sometimes overcoming obstacles requires that you gain knowledge. I can't believe how lazy people are and stupid. They're sitting in front of a computer with a search engine and they're too stupid to even use the search engine. How do I, you can't believe back in the day, <laughs> oh man, you got me on a rant now, but you can't believe back in the day, how many people were asking me questions about shit that they could figure out with a simple Google search. But yet, how do I do this? You're sitting in front of a computer with a search engine, you imbecile, you. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't get angry at you guys asking me questions because there are some things that you, can, you cannot get from a Google search. You can only get it out of this genius brain. And there's only one of these brains out there. I have a big a brain. <laughs> I don't know if anybody will get that reference, but it amuses me, and that's all that matters. Um, Dion, King Human, good to see you, brother. Maximum respect to you. Mm. Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not bitching about people being unappreciative. I don't, I, I do what I do, right? And if only one person gets it, that's cool. If everybody gets it, that's cool. If I only amuse myself, that's cool. And if people hate on me, that's cool. It really, whatever, rubs your Buddha. But I appreciate the feedback, man. Uh, you opened my eyes years ago, and I'll be forever thankful. Best wishes. Bonus points awarded. Oh. I got to set up that bonus point system uh, because I'm going to start doing giveaways in my live broadcasts where I give away free stuff. So um, just remember, I gave you bonus points and remember to remind me about it later. And bonus points get you more entries into being able to win the free stuff. I don't know. Uh, my friend acts like a dodo, can't even use Google to search any dang thing. Yeah, I actually made, God, I can't remember the URL for it. I actually made a goof web page and I was sending people to that web page and basically it said what I just said, had a picture of Homer, Homer Simpson with something written on the back of his head that said stupid or something and, you know, uh, God, I can't remember it. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Um, I think uh, two more. Let's get a couple of more. Uh, Nash TV guy. I started to watch your videos many years ago. Got plenty of ideas from you. For several years, I sold on eBay, Etsy, and I have my own web page. Maximum respect. Thanks for your great input and ideas. Thanks for watching my videos and thanks for putting up with my ugly face and listening to my annoying voice and maximum respect. And if I've helped you even a little bit, if I've helped you to make a couple of extra bucks that you would not have made otherwise, think about donating a couple of bucks to St. Jude's Research Hospital for Kids. They help sick kids with cancer. So cool on you. Maximum respect. Uh, okay, Karen, I'm also a driver. Uh, hmm. A truck driver? Oh my God, I'm so glad to get out of that truck. Oh God, it was a nightmare. That truck was so horrible. Oh, and the other thing I'm working on, I, if I can ever remember, I just need to add another phone number to my phone so you guys can call in. Oh, one question, because I just saw my treasure on my desk here. Uh, a lot of you guys don't know what that is, but I'm going to tell you in a second. Cryptocurrency, right? I don't know if you guys saw my previous video about that, but if you're young, I kind of came out with a suggestion to buy XRP, which is Ripple. Uh, it's 25 cents a coin. Bitcoin 
is now over $11,000 a coin. You don't have to buy entire coins, by the way. But here's the thing. I remember when a friend came to me many, many years ago and said, hey, why don't we buy some Bitcoin? And I said, are you an idiot? What is that? It's cartoon money. What do you do with it? You can't do anything with it. Why would I do it? Now, I, I have to live with that the rest of my life because at that time, I don't know what Bitcoin was. In fact, you know what? Let me do a quick search here and get an idea. Uh, what year was it? I'm taking a guess. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. I'm gonna. Uh, my my computer's really so. Anyway, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm not seeing it. Okay, this doesn't tell me. Anyway, I'm guessing back then, Bitcoin might have been forty bucks a coin. I don't know. Now it's eleven thousand. If I would have put my money in back then, boom. So why am I telling you, young guys? maybe take a chance on XRP right now, which is Ripple. It's only 25 cents a coin. And Bank America has been, is giving the green light to XRP, meaning they're going to start using it in transactions. So I don't know. I know that Bank of America has been kind of talking about this for four years. But if you buy XRP now for 25 cents, and just sit on it for 10 years, it could be worth a lot of money. I bought uh, 4,000 coins the other day of XRP. Cost me about a grand, right? So if that goes up to $300 a coin, I'm going to have 1.2 1 1 1 .2 or $1.5 million. I can't do that math in my head. And who knows? It could happen. Now, the other great thing is, um, oh, I'm looking at an XRP is up another 2.47% 2, 2 today. Let me share this screen for you uh, because I just, uh, just look at the top here. See that stream? So XRP is up 2.47% from yesterday when I bought it. So I'm making money. If you buy it and you don't, like what's going on, you can just sell out. It's just like a stock. I'm just trying to get you guys thinking about different ways you can go through things. Um, I'm looking at the other feeds. I'm not seeing anything that uh, um, rubs my Buddha. But anyway, again, educate yourself. Beware, there's a lot of scams out there on cryptocurrencies and that kind of stuff. Oh, and what is this? This is a hard wallet. So um, basically, well, sh I don't know if you guys even care, but I'm into this digression, so shut up. This is a little tiny device that I store my Bitcoin and my cryptocurrency on so that it's not on the computer because you can get hacked. Anyway, you'll learn about that if you, if you give a shit. You may not give a shit. And that's cool too. All right. Anyway. Um, oh, Sherry, I've been donating my local food banks. That is outstanding. That is a good cause right now. And you get major bonus points. In fact, uh, you're going to win a prize today. What? I don't know. Um, hang on, Sherry. Let me go on to Amazon. Um, See if I can't find a cool little toy to send you. Uh, hey, girl. What is hey, girl? Uh, what would Cherie like? Hang on. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. What would Cherie like to win right now? Let me find something 
a Vitamix, that's kind of real expensive. I don't want to spend that much money on you, Cherie. No offense. Um, let's see. Uh, the, the, the new releases. Where's the cool stuff? How do I find the cool stuff? Live streams? What's live streams? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's uh, not what I Best sellers. What's hot? New releases. Movers and shakers. Okay. Most wished for. Let's see. Most wish spy cam. And oh, come on. This is, Cherie doesn't want any of this stupidity. She wants something girly and frilly. And oh, here we go. Gift ideas. Let's see. Uh, pop up gift card, birthday card. When's your birthday, Cherie? Mm. Uh, oh, Jade is talking about Bitcoin. I need to get back on here. Um, uh, come on. What what would you like, Cherie? What would you like to win? Let me go back and see if she's answered me. Um, yeah, what would you like to win? I don't know. You know what? Maybe just a gift card. Maybe like a $20 gift card. Where do I do that? Oh, gift cards, right? Here we go. Amazon gift card and a mini envelope. I don't know what you can get for 20. Oh, well, I guess it's going to have to be 25 bucks. Um, how do I send it to you? Cherie, uh, wait. Um, I'm going to have to learn how to do this, how to send it to you and uh, not expose your information as I'm doing it. Do you, if you remember how to contact me offline, send me a message, send me your email address, I think is what they require, and I'll send it to you. Oh, I'm going to barf. Anyway, it's something, Sharia. I don't know. It's not like huge, but um, you can buy yourself some, have yourself some fancy massage bath salts or something treat yourself to something that you wouldn't ordinarily get for yourself buy yourself a drink buy yourself a beer or you know what i'll just paypal you the money you know i never like gift cards because it limits somebody to where they can spend their money i'll just paypal you the money you can do whatever you want with it what do i care why does it have to be a gift card uh king chain link to the moon well could it could happen i don't know man karen i've been a driver for over three oh i've already seen that one i've already put that up um birthday is in january so is mine that's what i'm remembering now <clears throat> uh yeah uh you don't know how to contact me offline uh Chase me down on Facebook and private message me. I'll try and remember to come and chase after you too. I think I've got your information somewhere. Or go to the King. I'm not sure if I published my personal email address on the King Human Elite or not. I don't know. Chase me down. You'll get there, man. I don't do bass. I'm not talking about those kind of bath salts. I'm talking about the real kind that you put in your bathtub and girls like it and makes them smell good. And you know, this is not the stuff you're talking about. <laughs> uh, are people still making money during this pandemic? Yes, I am. My buddy is, he just bought, he's got five houses. He's bought, he just bought a commercial property. He's bought a Lamborghini. Gini, I don't do that. I don't spend money like that. I don't like buying those kind of things. Now I'm investing in things like cryptocurrency I'm going to invest in. I'm going to invest in some stocks. I'm going to I'll, I'll get into that stuff with you guys later. I'm a little skittish about the market. I think it's artificially manipulated right now. But anyway, um, <laughs> for Capricorn, okay, why not? <clears throat> Do you another? Do you know another page like Amazon Turk? 
I don't. I mean, there's Upwork.com where you can sell your services and skills, but it's I don't know how similar that compares. Um, if she is an elite, Sherry can voicemail you. Yeah, I think she's not. And I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to yell at her for not being an elite. I've known Sherry for a long time. She's a good kid. All right, guys, you got to be bored. It's, wow, 50 minutes. Okay, I'm going to get off of here. Any other questions? Last, last chance, man, last shot. <clears throat> what does your friends do, stock script? No, he does what I do. Well, he does mostly what I do. He, we're both in the internet marketing field. We both do the same things, uh, except he, he goes one step beyond in that he launches products. I, I'm not a product launcher. I'm an affiliate marketer mostly. So we do the same things and it's great. It's great. If you want to learn it, go to my website. I mean, I'm telling you when you can, uh, now I'm going to go into a commercial. I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> all right. It looks like that's it. Everybody's questions have been answered. Um, maybe the next, oh God, the questions come up again. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Nice. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a broadcast on this platform. What I'm using here is called Be Live. Be Live TV. I think, I, I don't know what the actual URL is. I think it might be B.Live, something like that. But the cool thing about this is I can sell products on here if I want to. You guys might want to start doing this because I'm streaming right now to YouTube and Facebook. At least I think I am if I set it up right. And there are, I wish I could show you the actual screen that I'm seeing. Um, there are widgets on here. Um, I can set my branding, my widgets. Um, there's a thing on here where I can put up a link. So let's say I talk about some kind of a product, right? And I can put a clickable link right in the, right on the screen right there. So I could be making a presentation about some kind of product. Could be your own product. You could be maybe selling your t-shirt or something. You talk about the benefits of your t-shirt, you live stream it to Facebook, or the other thing, here's the other thing you could do. Become an affiliate for Amazon. Order the product, right? Order a cool high-tech product. Do a live stream on Facebook. Demo the product. Show people the good, the bad, the ugly in your live stream. It's not hard. And then use this widget. Click on the thing. In fact, let me... I don't know. I've never used this. Um, okay, I can set a price. Let me do that. Let, let's just screw around with this. Uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, description. Wait. And link. Oops. I know this is boring. Again, I've never used this before. So let's do this. Um, okay, I don't know how to do this. Oh, here we go. Upload media. I don't know. Okay, I need to learn how to do this because I just don't know what's going on here. Anyway, I can, I'll learn it and I'll put it up here, but really cool. So I could just easily 
zap my link to anybody that's interested and I demo that product. Hey, this is the treasure thing. This is what it's going to do for you. Here's the benefits. Buddha, 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 Buddha. Here's the good stuff that it'll do. But yet, here's the bad things too. So if you're interested, boom. And then I hit a button and there's a clickable link and they can go buy it on Amazon. And that's how you guys can make money as an affiliate on Amazon. After you do the demo, you can return the item if you don't want it. Or even better, give it away as a gift in your live stream as a contest and you will build your audience. You guys are getting pure gold. So anyway, and you can be an affiliate for this be live thing too. So you can make money from that as you're teaching people to do Hey guys, this is how I make money. I do be I do live streams for Amazon products and that makes me money. You want to you want to buy my course on it? I made a whole course on it. Click on my link, buy my course, and I'll teach you. And then in that course, you give them the link to be live and you're going to make recurring income from everybody. I'm not, I don't want you guys to buy be live through my link. I don't give one fifth of half of shit. But you are a king human elite. Okay, well, hit me up on every month. Go to the bottom of the page. There's voicemail. Send me a voicemail and, and give me your email address, and I'll just PayPal you the dough. You're the winner. All right? Cool, cool. Um, okay. Ready, relatively new to the online community. Where can I find your older links to learn from? Links of what? Um Older links, links from what? Just go look at, see the crawl at the bottom of the thing, the kinghumanelite.com. Go there and sign up for a seven day free trial. Cost you nothing for 14 days. 14 days? I don't know if it's seven or 14 days, whatever the hell it is, right? Go do it. Won't cost you anything for either seven days, 14 days. Go in there, learn as much as you can, download as many products as you want. And if you don't like what you see, cancel before the time is up. You won't be charged a penny. And even then, you can be a member for 30 days. And if you still don't like it, hit me up. I'll send you a refund. I don't want your lousy 20 bucks or whatever the hell it is. If, if I don't earn your money, I don't want it, okay? I have to be able to teach you how to make money online or I don't want your damn money. Okay, that lecture's over. <laughs> Uh, Andrew, you have a thousand questions. Ask them. They don't do any good in your head. You got my brain here now. Okay. Uh, I think you're the best. I'm still waiting for some. Okay. I'm still waiting for the best. I've been watching you for a couple of years now. By the way, I have a box full of dispatcher brains. What? And sailboat. What are dispatcher brains? Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what dispatcher brains are, but you know, if I knew, maybe I could give you some ideas on how best to sell them. Uh, in another stream, I'll give you some anecdotes about a friend of mine. He came over with some, the most random stuff and challenged me to be able to get him to be able to make money by selling it on eBay because he tried selling his stuff he couldn't sell it for a dollar and I made him so much money because I marketed it in a different way and in a whole different category than what he could think of. But you know, people are limited in their thinking. And when you have access to a genius brain, things happen. Uh, how much per month to be an elite? I'm kind of tight financially these days, but depending on the price, I might consider joining. It's 20 bucks a month. Not 200, not 2,000, it's 20 bucks. But again, go get the free trial and see, you know, if, it, if it's not a value to you, you won't be charged a penny. So anyway, and again, you get voicemail access to me. You better use that while you can. If you're not going to stay a member, that's what's doing. Okay, anyway, uh, best things to sell on eBay. I don't know. I'm not up on it right now. Uh, 
you know, you could find out with a Google search, couldn't you? If you uh, did a little product research, I can tell you, um, you know what, I'll give you, okay, let me show you something here. Uh, I'm going to give you a hack right now. This might help you, might. So one of the other things I'm doing, <clears throat> uh, hang on, I need to minimize this. Let me find, bear with me one second. I need to find a particular, I've got like 8 million, okay, here we go. I've got 8 million windows open right now. Let me show you something that I am doing. Um, hang on. Okay, as long as I don't have to. Uh, okay, I need to go into my funnels. Hang on. Uh, I'm sorry if this is getting boring, right? But uh, I need to... See, seven steps. Okay, that's the one I need. Uh, okay, let me share my screen with you. Some of you guys are have already seen this. But anyway, this is one of the things that I'm making. I'm going to give it away to you guys. This is a funnel, and it's got seven steps in it. So I'll show you what this is, and then I'll show you how to make money with it. Give me one second. So let's go to the actual page. What this is... This is the website you're going to get for free. Claim these amazing Bluetooth earbuds, just $7.88 a piece. Uh, amazing deal. Countdown timers running. Buy them now. Get them, right? Order my earbuds. You're going to get that. Now, this is a business, right? So these earbuds are available on AliExpress for a couple of bucks. Now, the minute they click on the button, saying, yeah, I want them, they're taken to this page, which is an OTO page. It's another offer. So this is called a bump, a order bump. So the minute they do that and they get their cheap earbuds because they're priced really cheaply, right? Now, immediately we're hitting them with something else. Right here, right now, you can add a second pair of dynamic based Bluetooth earbuds for an amazing 50% and then you come down here and it says you want one pair. Here they are. You want two pair. Add to your order, right? See, this is a funnel. This is giving people an option to buy more products. That's how a funnel works. Everybody uses it, even McDonald's. When you go through a McDonald's drive through and you order a hamburger, they immediately say, do you want fries with that? Now let's go to the OTO2, which is another upsell. So they buy the Bluetooth earbuds. They immediately get taken to this page. Hey, you bought those earbuds. Here's an another, here is another amazing unadvertised deal. Get this amazing 4K pocket projector for 50% off. And uh, it's just $18.88. You want one or do you want two of them? See, see how that initial $8 now is building up into a much bigger profit situation because we have a funnel in place. Now let's go, here's the confirmation page. Let me see, I forget what that is. I'm not sure, this, this might be out of order. Here's the confirmation. So once they decide how much crap they wanna buy, they're taken to this page and this will automatically populate and show what all of their price, all of the products are that they purchased, how much they're gonna pay. But then look, hey, before you check out, look, you can get this mini spy cam for just $7.56 with free shipping. Or And if you want, you can also get this camera, this iPhone camera gimbal. So you can take great videos with your iPhone. Uh, you want to add it to your order? Click here. Boom. Right? Um, and then, anyway, that's what's doing. I'm going to give this guy these these things to you, but hang on, because uh, here's where the rubber hits the road. Let's go to AliExpress, because you asked me what, um, 
what would be good to sell on eBay right now? Well, here's here's what you want to do. Uh, go to AliExpress and type in VIP. And you're going to see, you get, come through here and look, and you're going to find the items that are really selling right now on AliExpress. So these might be good things to sell on uh, eBay. I don't know. So you got to come in here and you got to kind of look through these. I'll click on this one. We'll see. I have no idea what's doing. Okay. This is a back. It looks like it's a posture corrector thing. Yeah. So evidently right now, this is a big popular item. So that's the other thing I want to tell you guys. If you reverse engineer this, like I'm showing you right now, this is huge selling on, on, uh, uh, e-commerce, right? So what you would do is you would take that funnel that I'm going to give you and use it as a template and just plug in this product, for example, put your own price on it and create your funnel with this item and then a couple of other items that are related. Okay. Like there's that, there's the, uh, there's this one, the posture shirt, this right now, I know this is a hot seller because it's in VIP. Um, yeah, look, 1,266 orders he's gotten. So this thing is selling. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I didn't want to go into a big digression on this, but we'll get more into that in other live streams because I want to, after I'm done building that funnel for you guys, I'll hand it to you free. You can use it as a template. You can plug in products like I just showed you, and you can even sell that as a done for you business to somebody else. You can put it on Flippa and sell it as a business. We'll, we'll get into all this stuff. I'm trying to make you guys money. Okay. Anyway, um, Karen, I'm already subscribed. I'm referring to older video links. Older video links. Well, you got to go into my YouTube and look at the past videos. I mean, they're in there. You just got to go into YouTube and I don't know. I don't know the navigation out of my head, but you know. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, how easy is it to cancel if my funds ever go low or dry? Okay. In the King Human Elite, once you get inside, at the top, there's a menu with all kinds of navigation. One of the navigation bars says, manage my account. Click on that, unsubscribe, done. You can do it right within there. You know, it used to be a pain in the ass because I had to use PayPal. Now I use Stripe and it's so easy. You guys can make, oh, hang on. You guys can manage your account right within your own, uh, right within the website, right? You can update your credit card if, info if you need to or your, your payment info. You can cancel. It's all instant right online. Cool. Very simple, very easy. Okay. Um, okay. What was this? Uh, <laughs> his obviously a driver. A, the reference to dispatcher brains was a... Okay, I, I, I don't even understand that. It's, it's too broken. It's, uh, I don't know. I can't follow it. Uh, those people will go broke when they're done shopping. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the idea. You know, you get them in with what's called a trip wire, and then you show them other items within that thing. Like the the thing that I created was kind of like a, a tech gadget funnel, but it could be anything, right? It could be makeup, it could be women's makeup funnel. So you start it with just a little trip wire product, which is something that has a mass appeal but it's something you can sell very cheaply, maybe even just break even with it, right? 
you don't even make a profit. You sell it as cheaply as possible. And then the minute they put that in their basket, oh, the, look, oh, there's some other stuff I can buy that's even better. And you take them down that path. And you can add as many OTOs. OTO stands for one-time offer. You can add as many of those as you want. So you can put people through hell if you want to. I don't recommend putting in too many OTOs. Now, the other thing that's going to happen is anybody that buys from you gets immediately put into your email autoresponder. So you can follow up with newsletters. And every time you get a new product in your inventory, you send them a newsletter saying, hey, we got this new product. You might be interested in it. And because you're one of our past customers, here's a discount coupon. Enter the word Kishmium Tukas and you'll get 20% off. Other people aren't going to get 20% off. Just, I'll teach it all to you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. Okay. <laughs> Let me get back to this. Can-can. Uh, are you a can-can dancer? Wow. Or are you just can? Okay. Uh, like the hundred dollar. Oh, it's actually a canvas. It's a, it's a painting on canvas thing. Um, but yeah, stay motivated. Uh, maximum respect back at you. Oh my God, this is going to be another long. I was this close to getting away. Okie dokie. Thanks. Okay, Karen. I hope you got everything you guys need. Uh, I hope. I've been of help to some of you guys. If I have, you can do me a solid by telling other people to come look at the fat, bald, ugly guy on YouTube and Facebook and share the love. Sharing is caring, right? You know, I'm sharing with you guys. I'm sharing my expertise. I'm sharing my knowledge. How hard is it for you guys to return the favor and just hit a stupid button? Hit a stupid share button. It's too much for some of you. Okay, I'm going mental. All right, guys. Adios, amigos. Maximum respect. Bye, Anara. Cherie, you won your, your uh, little gift card. Hit me up. Send me a voicemail. I'll get that out to you probably later tonight when I get your speak pipe voicemail. Woohoo! All right. Adios.